Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode tutorial of Logic Pro Mix Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's very important. Um, I did another uh, tutorial on it, but um, since that time, um, there's been a lot of questions. So, the previous tutorial I did was on exporting stems and splits in Logic, and so what I... Uh, taught you to do was go to file and go down to bound, uh, export and then over to all tracks as audio files when you do that you can bounce all the tracks that are listed in your session as splits so whoever you're sending the record to they can mix accordingly but one of the issues we've had in logic pro um, that's been a common thing is getting our effects that have been placed on auxiliary channels through a bus to be printed on the WAV file. So, for example, what I have here is a track uh, by incredible artist Shasha Jones, um, and this is her version of Hold On. So, I'm gonna play a little bit of it. I got my eyes on you. Yeah, everything that I see, I want your hot love and emotion endlessly. Okay, so we see here how the vocal sounds. And if I want to bounce that as a split, I go up top. All tracks is audio files. One track to be bounced. I bounce that out. Boom computer does what it does exporting all tracks then I go over to my desktop here's the track it says it's as a wave so I would just drag that into my session so now what happens here is that track as we've seen it has no effects so it's a, a dry vocal but now let's say I took this vocal and I sent put a bus and I sent it to an auxiliary. And let's say I name this reverb. Okay. And I go in here, grab up a nice reverb. Uh, reverb plugin. Let's go with the Manny reverb. Okay. <clears throat> and now let's say. Bring that to nominal. Now I play the track. I got my eyes on you. Yeah, everything that I see, I want your hot love and emotion endlessly. Okay, so I just added a ton of reverb to this track. Now I'm like, okay, I want to send this to my mix engineer, have him mix it, but I want this reverb to stay on the track. Now what I've previously previously taught, file, export, all tracks as audio files. Do that. It says one track to be bounced. Hit it. Cool, right? I go over. I see the file that I exported. I say, let me hear it. I got my eyes on you. Ooh, yeah, everything that I see, I want you. A sweet boy and you know it. Where's my reverb? My reverb is not printed on the stem. So, I'm going to show you how to get that printed. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the mix window. Command 2 brings up the mix window. Okay, now, this reverb track is an auxiliary track. So we're going to go to that and we're going to press Control t now what that did was it added it to my arrangement window so when i go to the mix mixer window i click on it click on the auxiliary with the effect so that it's highlighted and i press Control t when i press Control t it now adds the auxiliary channel to my arrangement window after that's done, you're going to right click on the actual section where the regions would go. And you're going to create a MIDI region. So you're going to hit Control 
and click, which is right click, create empty MIDI region. Now, all we've got to do, drag this all the way to the end of the song. And now, when I drag that there, now I'm going to bounce it out. Now I'm going to say, okay, let's go to File, Export, All Tracks as Audio Files. Two tracks are listed. You can look, it says two tracks to be bounced. Now when I bounce these tracks, right, go to my desktop. We have here. I got my eyes on you. Sasha Jones vocal. And then we have here. I got my eyes on you. Yeah, everything that I see, I want your hot love and emotion. The track with the reverb. So that's just a quick tip. Um, a little bit of a, I would say, an ad advancement video on how to bounce your stems or your splits with the vocals printed on the WAV file. Until next time, guys, hope this has been help for you. If it has been, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be coming at you with another tutorial. All right, peace.